Okay, so here's a program I've been kind of working on in the past but have yet to finish. Um, let me show you what it's based off of. So um, you're going to see me go away and I'll come back. But um, if this all does not crash uh, with all these different videos. Um, so the um, maze robot GUI um, Um, let me find it. Sim, okay. May simulator. <clears throat> Let's see. There it is. Um, you might have seen this, so I can draw a maze, right? So I wrote this program just to kind of demonstrate maze solving. And uh, I can draw a maze. And uh, I can put like a uh, starting position, oops, that's the end, well, starting and an ending position, and adjust the speed, and I hit solve, and it solves the maze. So. And so that's the maze solved, right? Um, you might have seen that before. So back to the program I was showing you um, with the camera image. Okay, low again. <laughs> um, so with the camera image here, and this is basically the same concept. As you can see in the bottom, I have a bunch of the same buttons and um, stuff, but those don't quite work yet because uh, I haven't gotten there yet. But the idea is, you know, um, like I showed you, I, I draw the maze in the simulator and it solves it. But then I got to thinking, what well, if I have a, a physical maze, like one, maybe not physical, but one like drawn on paper or, um, for instance, made out of tape. So I have it in real life, but um, I don't want to transfer it maybe uh, into the simulator. So I just want it to solve it without having to enter it, um, like a camera, so a, a camera solving a maze from above, for instance. Um, so I wrote this program, hence the um, camera webcam image you're seeing. Um, and so the idea is you would hold up your maze, um, and, um, and the maze would be on like it is now, uh, black on a white background. And you would uh, simply select it by dragging your cursor across the image, right? And um, as you can see, it picked up a... Basically what it did is it convert, converted what it sees as the dark areas into, um, into red, just so I can visualize what it's picking up. And so I might turn the light on here to brighten it up because as you can see down here, it, it picked up some dark areas. So let me retry that. Okay, not a bit better. Um, and uh, so there it shows where it's detected the lines of the maze. And um, let me move that. And so um, basically now what the software needs to do is um, detect what a line is, what direction it's going, how long it is, and um, I think the length may not matter, it may just be defaulted, so uh, you know every direction, if it's going vertical or horizontally or whatever, is just automatically like uh, like you saw in the previous program, um, maybe two blocks or three blocks, and uh, that's really all that matters. Um, so basically the program needs to trace the, uh, the red, it needs to go back and looking at the red pixels and um, and determine you know what is a turn or what you know is part of it just continuing going forward and, and transfer that to actual data because right now it's just an image and uh, I, I, I have ideas to do that you know having the software go through and detecting the widths and seeing if it's continuing in a single direction or if it's uh, making a 90 return 
And obviously, um, if it's hand drawn, for instance, uh, the lines are going to be perfect widths or uh, have perfectly 90 degree turns. So I'm going to have to make sure we can uh, keep up with that. But this is the idea. Um, there's, I don't know if there's much more to do. Once I convert into that, the other program I wrote will really uh, just take over once I copy and paste that over. And it should be simple from there.